began this great musical career, as I said before, as a lead singer for the Imperials. Russ has received more awards than I could stand here and tell you about. Dove Awards, Grammy Awards. But behind this incredible career, Russ endured a combative relationship with an abusive alcoholic father. You know, fame doesn't come without a price. Let's take a look at Russ's story before he comes out. Daddy was a pastor, but he was also an alcoholic. We grew up just with real strict uh, guidelines of what God expected from us. Daddy couldn't live the uh, life that he preached, but he expected us to. It was a very confusing time and so many negative messages of that you're not worth anything. In fact, the only time I really got attention is when I sang. And when we moved to Arkansas, when Dad started pastoring there, I put a little band together, and we started playing. The Imperials heard me sing, and I got a call saying, uh, we remember you, and would you be interested in coming and trying out for the Imperials? And they hired me that night. I toured with them for five years, then I had a uh, very successful solo career. Uh, just about every award a musician can win, but in your heart, you can't celebrate it because uh, in your heart you don't feel worthy. And so all of this was just spinning around in me to points of great depression. I could not deal with my life. And it's like, God, I can't go another step. And I began to read just the words of Jesus. Uh, and I started just this mantra of, he loves me, he cares, he loves me, he cares. So for me, it was a constant diet daily of writing it on the mirror. I'm the apple of his eye. He cherishes me. And slowly my, my whole attitude and outlook began to change. And I would encounter his love. But it was a long process of letting his love heal me. Encountering his love has been the most incredible experience that I have experienced on planet Earth here. Please welcome to the Health Life, Russ Ash. Russ, God bless you. Thank you for being with us on the Help Life. Wow, did I enjoy that song? <laughs> and the words of that song what an incredible message. Mm -hmm. It is, Doctor. God has used you, and you didn't get this particular place in your life without paying a tremendous price. That's right, Dr. Sorello. Very, very, very true. Um, Daddy was a, um, he loved God very much. He loved God very much, but the God that uh, he understood was a very cruel God and uh, there was not a lot of compassion uh, with his God. Um, and he expected perfection. And I just, you know, I just wanted to understand a Jesus that loved and cared and, and understood and, and treasured my relationship with him. But that old <laughs> God was a very cool God. One of the statements that I read that you made was that you said you learned the truth about grace after trying to serve God the hard way. Yeah. See, people see you on the stage, <laughs> you know, never realizing what you go through. Right, right. And the loneliness. And, uh, you know, you write, you sing, you perform. And there are times that it's like, God, where are you? Yeah. God, where are you? You called me to do this. I believe it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm lonesome and I want to go home. <laughs> I'm tired and I want to go home, you know. Uh, but uh, there are those times that I began to feel a genuine love from him, that I mattered to him. Away from music, away from anything else, I mattered to Jesus. But I fell absolutely in love with that Jesus. And my work didn't mean he loved me. 
He loved me. Your wife understood that too, because yeah. you went. She went with you through the valley of yes, depression. She did. Right. She went through it. She wanted to reach out. <laughs> it was hard for her to do it. She did, doctor. She would say to me, she said, you know, one day you're going to love yourself the way I love you. Oh, and you're going to understand that you're valuable oh, so and valuable. that you're a treasure. And, uh, but when you encounter that true Christ, when you encounter the one who came to this planet and gave his life for us. True and love. True love. True love. It's not like anything I've ever known before. And, uh, and he, he's, he's with me constantly. He's with me constantly. When I'm in Timbuktu now and, and I'm tired and I want to go home, I feel his comfort. Yeah. I feel his comfort. <laughs> Something happened to your dad because he lived most of this type of a life in secret. Yep. But then it was found out and yes. he was dismissed by the church. Yeah, two different times. And right. then a serious problem of encounter right. between you and dad. Yeah, I, uh, it caused great problems. It caused great pain between he and I that he couldn't uh, accept who he was, who I was, and the call that was on my life, it threatened him. And so that created more distance. Were you ever able to bridge this gap? No, Dr. Sorello. I, I tried several times, but he just couldn't go there. He just couldn't talk to me. And, uh, but you know, God was so faithful to you. Oh, incredibly faithful. I have this thing in my head because we're living forever. Right. You know, this is just the time here that we're on this planet. We are living forever. Oh, yeah. And my wife told me when I got on the phone, she goes, honey, she said, it won't be but a few years. You'll be sitting at a Starbucks <laughs> on the east gate of heaven somewhere. <laughs> and you guys will sit and have a cup of coffee and he'll be able to throw tell his you. arms around and tell me. And I'll be able to throw my arms around him. And I'll see him very soon. Oh, I'll see him very soon. Amen. You know, in so many ways, people watching us right now are facing their own hells. What would you say to some of those that are watching right now? Can you talk to them? Absolutely, absolutely. I, th I think it was, uh, I began to feel such compassion as I began to see my dad at my age and with what he had to carry and the demons that he had to fight. And it gave me compassion and I couldn't forgive until I felt a little bit of compassion. And the thing that I did daily, daily, and even with him gone, I would pray for him. God, hold him tight. God, love him tonight as he's there with you and he's finally happy. Hold him in your arms tonight, God. And the more I loved him through my prayer and I prayed for him, I began to feel forgiveness. That, that anger and that resentment began to just lessen, lessen and lessen. And then I, I felt like, I forgive, I forgive. And I felt free, doctor, I felt free. Thus, someone out there is going through what you went through. And you had a relationship with a parent or a loved one. You may never have been reconciled. Maybe you're watching, you feel empty, you feel alone, you feel powerless to deal with this circumstance. I want you to hold on to this one scripture verse right now, will you? Deuteronomy 31, 8, it says, the Lord himself goes before you <laughs> and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I believe it. Don't be discouraged. Lean on God. Lean on his promise. Turn your impossible circumstance over to him. Will you do it right now? Take it from rust. Let God comfort you in this time of great need. And as I just do a little simple thing and Russ, do it with me. Stretch your hand out to the television. I want you 
wherever you are. Reach out. Even if you have to get up and take a little act of faith, touch the television screen, not necessary, but just stretch your hands out and pray these words right now. Will you please? Father, I'm powerless to heal the brokenness in my relationship with my loved one. Please help me to turn it over to you. I know that if I do, you will fill me with your peace. You will bring healing to my circumstance. Teach me, teach me to rest in your loving arms. Replace my pain with hope. Replace my sorrow with your love. Friends, I want you to know, if you prayed this prayer, God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is coming right now into your circumstances. Get on the telephone, please. Do it right now. Call Russ right here. Call me right here on the helpline. Or send us an email. Tell us that you prayed this prayer with us. Tell us that you're releasing this resentment, this bitterness, this hurt. You're releasing it to God. Let's give Russ an incredible hand for being with us on Hillfire.